Hey guys, uh, welcome to your new love reading for Pisces. This is going to be for your December 2022. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So these are the Piscean people that are currently not dealing with anyone looking for new love or that, you know, for some of you guys, you know, just apply this to your own unique situation. Maybe you started talking to somebody new. So we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love. And then we will take a look and see, you know, if there's anyone new coming towards you, what you need to know about this individual apply this to your own unique situation. Like I said, some of you guys might already be dealing with somebody here. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Pisces people, not tapping into one specific person's energy in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. All right. So tell me about Pisces in love. Tell me about Pisces in love here. Tell me about Pisces in love. What is going on with Pisces in love for December 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Pisces. Tell me about Pisces in love here. We have the star and the magician here. So the star, Aquarius energy, the magician, Gemini, Virgo. We have the Four of Swords here in Temperance. So what I'm getting here is that Pisces, I just feel like you're really focusing on your healing here. Okay, a lot of you guys have taken on meditation. A lot of you guys are focusing on your manifestations here. So when it comes to new love, you know, I just feel like there's an energy of you taking your sweet old time here. Because I feel like you're trying to seek enlightenment and awakening here. Okay, you're definitely, you know having breakthroughs here or that you're about to have breakthroughs so i feel like there's an energy of sort of like learning like looking at the past and learning from the past here and trying to move on from it you know with the cherry here and the high priestess i just feel like you know there's an energy of sort of like overcoming okay and i feel like there's an energy of you really tapped in and trusting your intuition here tra ta tapped into spirit tapped into the universe here so i feel like a lot of you guys are receiving a lot of messages or that you guys are channeling a lot of messages from uh you know energies in and around you or out from the cosmos okay tell me about the four of swords why is the four of swords here why is the four of swords here Okay, we have the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have Temperance here in the Ten of Cups. You know, when it comes to looking for a relationship, when it comes to a romantic relationship, I just feel like you're really taking your sweet old time. Okay, um, you know, I do feel like maybe there is someone here that's coming in with an offer here, with a very solid offer here. But, you know, I just feel like there's an energy of you not rushing because I feel like, you know, a lot of you guys are really just taking some time out, just taking care of you. The Knight of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and the Ten of, Pen uh, Ten of Cups. Tell me about this uh, Ace of Swords. We have the Two of Wands here. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? In the Nine of Cups. One of the things I'm getting is that, you know, if someone does in fact come towards you, that's great. If someone doesn't, that's great too, because I feel like you decided to be on your own for a little bit. Yeah, to invest in yourself, to, to fill your own cups right now, okay? Uh, because I just feel like, you know, there's an energy of you just focusing on your healing here, uh, Pisces, okay? Um, tell me about Pisces here. Is there new love coming towards Pisces? And if so, what does Pisces need to know about this individual? For December 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Pisces. Okay, we have Justice and the Two of Pentacles here. Libra energy with Justice and the Two of Pentacles. We have the Five of Cups here and the Ace of Wands. Let's get two more here. We have the Two of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles here. Seems like there will be an offer here coming towards you in the future. You know, you know, Pisces, I do feel like you met someone. 
okay? And you know, I feel like when it comes to this new person, I do feel like this person is on the same page as you. They want to take things very, 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 very slow, okay? Because I, I feel like they want to know for sure that you know they want that they know you, and that you know you are the right person for them. Vice versa here. Okay, I do feel like there is someone. There's a. There's going to be a, a relationship here for you in the future. Uh, you know, a new beginning here. But you know, I feel like with the justice card, this could be an indication that you're clearing out like a karmic cycle. You're clearing out karma here. Okay, you're working on doing the work so that you can attract. You know, a healthy person, a healthy relationship here. Justice. We have the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel like you could be currently dealing with an Earth sign. If this person hasn't come in yet, this person will be coming towards you in the future here. The Two of Pentacles here and the Tower. I feel like we have something here that's going to make you a very unexpected offer, okay? And I feel like it's going to be a very, very, very big offer. Okay, you know, one of the things I'm getting here is that, yeah, you guys are on the same page about taking things slow, but I feel like this offer is going to be quite premature and it's going to take you by surprise here. Okay, the Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here? Why is the Five of Cups here? We have the Sun, Leo energy. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands here? And the Four of Pentacles here. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is that, you know, I feel like there's an energy of definitely overcoming disappointment here, you know, sadness, grief here, you know, and, and I feel like, you know, there's a, a bit of optimism, a, a hopeful energy that you will find someone that's really great. Um, and I feel like you will. Um, I do feel like this person might surprise you a bit because I feel like this person, you know, tends to come off as someone who, who's very safe, you know, or goes the safe route, but I feel like they could drop a huge bomb here on you. Tell me about the Two of Cups. Whoever this is, I feel like you will be meeting your soulmate. We have the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the two, uh, Ace of Pentacles here, and the Hierophant. Someone here is making you a big offer, okay? I do feel like it could be, I feel like a lot of you guys... You know, I feel like you are already talking to this person, but like I said, if you haven't met this person yet, yeah, this person will be coming towards you. You could be meeting this person online or something like that. You know, one of the dating websites here, okay? But, you know, I, I, I just feel like, you know, it's kind of like slow and steady wins the race. And I feel like there's like a major focus on yourself right now, okay? And sort of like taking your sweet old time and not rushing here, all right? So, um... So we have the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Whoever this is, I feel like when it comes to, you know, core values, you know, what you guys are looking for in a relationship, I feel like you guys will, will be in alignment in regards to that, okay? So, um, Pisces, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.